Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and I'm here today with Brownells Daily Defense to talk to you about pocket carry for concealment. So as the name implies, pocket carry means that I'm going to be carrying a firearm inside one of my pockets. One of the things that I talk about a lot is a gun is better than no gun. And what I mean by that is if carrying a firearm in a pocket opens up the doors for some people to carry firearms, then it's really not a bad thing. But I do want to talk about how to do it better. And so the first thing that I like to talk about is the firearm size. Clearly, the firearm size is going to be limited to how big my pockets are. So we're talking about subcompacts, more than likely micro compacts, and the J-frame revolvers. So when we talk about handgun size, the smaller the gun, the more likely I am to get it inside of a pocket. Now, one of the rules that I talk about with pocket carry is never carry a firearm in your pocket without a holster. So that opens up the doors to the various types of holsters that are out there. Some are pretty simple and easy, just a nice sleeve that the firearm fits into that slips into the pocket. Some of them are actually designed with certain features that allow the firearm to be separated from the holster so that you're not drawn both at one time. And one of the other things that people don't think about with regards to the holster is that the holster helps to break up the silhouette of the firearm in your pocket. Most of the time, you're gonna see the bulge but you won't necessarily see the silhouette of the frame or perhaps the cylinder from the revolver, so it kind of helps to break that up. The next thing that we have to address is, do I carry in my front pocket? Do I carry in my back pocket? That again is gonna be personal choice, but it's also going to be based around the wardrobe and the pockets. So front pockets in pants such as jeans typically are horizontal, which allow for me to kind of get into them from the top pretty easily. Most back pockets are either going to be a welt or a slot, which means that the welt is a patch on the back and a slot is a cut that goes inside of the pants. So you're better off going with a welt for the back, I'm sorry, for a patch pocket on the back pocket than the slit. The key thing about the positioning is to keep in mind where am I going to most likely be drawing from? And most of the time we're going to be probably standing up, maybe at a counter, maybe as I'm walking, Whatever the case, I'm more than likely going to be on my feet. So then the next thing I talk about is how many times of the day will you be in a seated position and potentially have to draw? And if you find that you're probably going to be in a seated position on a decent amount of your day, then front pocket is going to be really hard to get to. Back pocket is still a challenge, but it's a lot easier to get to than the front pocket. The next thing we talk about is your draw stroke technique. So I typically will carry from my back pocket. And one of the things that I like about carrying from my back pocket is it closely mimics my draw stroke. So when I'm going to go ahead and work my draw stroke, I'm going to come up and underneath, get a firing grip on that pistol, come straight out and straight to the target. So it makes it nice and easy for me to go into my holster using the same draw stroke technique that I already practice. When it comes to practicing, some of the things that I talk about are, let's not just practice from a standing position. That's how we should start and learn the draw stroke. But then we should work from maybe a seated. I might wanna work from a kneeling. I might wanna work from my back. I might wanna work from my belly, just so that I could figure out the limitations of the technique, the limitations of the position. Uh, I find that most of these positions I can get to very easily. Even when I'm on my back, I can still get to that firearm pretty easily, but it makes it really difficult to get to that front pocket uh, from a variety of different positions. The last thing we talk about are what are some common mistakes that we see with pocket carry? And the first one is choosing the wrong position. Um, if you find that you've placed that firearm in a front pocket, what you might find is certain clothing are just gonna make it really hard to get to reliably. You might be able to get your hand inside of your pocket, but once your hand forms around the gun itself, it starts to expand, which makes it a little bit difficult to pull out of that pocket's mouth. The next is choosing the wrong gun. You might choose a gun that's a little bit too big to carry inside of a pocket, but you force it. Eh, again, I, I would recommend maybe an other option if it looks like that gun is going to be too big. And then the last mistake that we see is choosing the wrong holster or not choosing a holster at all. So you'll have to probably experiment until you find the right combination between the firearm and the holster that work well for you in a pocket carry. I went through a couple of different holsters before I found the one that I really like. And after that, I've been very happy. So if you have any questions or comments about pocket carry, please feel free to post them down below. Until then, I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Take care and stay safe.